In this video, you'll learn how to add your logo to a Zoom virtual background to enhance your brand presence on Zoom calls. And we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we produce weekly content for creators, educators, and marketers, all in an effort to help you master video so you can do anything. If that sounds like the kind of stuff you're into, then consider clicking that subscribe button now. Adding your logo or other branding elements to your Zoom virtual background adds a level of professional credibility while enhancing the look and appeal of not only your cool background, but you as well. These backgrounds with company logos are an easy way to look your best on Zoom calls, and they're actually quite easy to make. Now, if you're not into making graphics like this or you can't figure it out, I do offer a service on Fiverr where I'll add your logo to any background you desire. But today, I'm simply just going to show you how to do it yourself. Before we begin, it's important to note that your computer, desktop, iPhone, or Android needs to be compatible with the Zoom virtual background features. If you're unsure if your device will work, I'll include a link below so you can check the system requirements for Zoom virtual backgrounds. In order to add our logo to a Zoom background, we'll need to design it first. Two things you'll need for this task are your logo, preferably a transparent PNG file, and an idea for a background. So think about those as we jump into the one and only Kapwing, which is an online image, video, and GIF editing platform and the perfect tool for creating your own virtual backgrounds. I placed a link to Kapwing below. All right, so once logged into Kapwing, you'll click on the plus icon area right here to create new content. On this screen, we'll click on the start with a blank canvas. Then we'll navigate to the right and select custom size, then type in 1920 by 1080, which is the optimal dimension for widescreen zoom backgrounds. I'll show you how to do a couple different styles to help get you inspired to make your own virtual background with a logo. Next, in the toolbar up top, we'll click on the images button here. Here, we can simply perform an internet image search for our preferred type of background, as well as insert your own images or other elements. Perhaps you want something clean and professional. Let's type in office background. You'll be able to review and select a background that looks fitting by clicking on it. You'll now see your image loaded onto our canvas. Now, before you resize it, click onto the image to select it, then hover over here and click to lock ratio. This will keep the proportion to the original size. Now we can grab these handles and increase and decrease the size of the image, position it so it fills the screen. All right, next step is to add in our logo to the background. Let's click once more up here on images and then on to upload. Here you'll upload your logo file. If the logo file is already formatted as a transparent PNG file, then your logo will appear perfectly on your background. Now, if your logo has a white background on it, then you'll first want to remove that white background. And here's why. If we try to position this logo on the screen, it's always going to have the white background attached to it. Removing the background allows the logo to naturally fit within the background graphic. So let me show you how to quickly remove the background from an image right here on Kapwing. With your logo image selected, click over here onto Erase. Here, we'll click on the magic wand button, then hover over and click into the white space. It'll turn gray. Then click back over here onto Remove Pixels. This will remove that white area. If you're left with white in between letters, simply select the magic wand again, click inside the area, and remove pixels. You'll repeat this as many times as needed to get your logo surrounded in gray pixels. Then click the Done button. Now you can see the white border is gone and what's left is just your logo. Click on your logo image and then onto Lock Ratio. Now you can resize your logo freely anywhere on the background. Pay notice to where you would be appearing on screen and place the logo in a spot that won't be blocked by your body or your head. I like to place these logos in a bottom corner. All right, this is one background you can use. I'll show you one more background style right quick, as well as how to integrate these into Zoom. But first, let's export this image by clicking up here, and then on this screen, download it to your files. 
Another background style I've done a lot of is placing a virtual TV-like accessory to a wall. Something like this. Let me show you how to do this one right quick. Now, from this screen, let's start by clicking on Start Another Project button. Again, we'll start with a blank canvas and format it to widescreen custom size of 1920 by 1080. Next, let's click up into Images, and this time, we'll search for Brick Wall. And let's go with this one right here. With our new image selected, we'll click on Lock Ratio. Then, size the image to fill the screen. Next, let's click up here on Elements and select the rectangle one and size it appropriately to what might be a flat screen TV like this. Then grab it and position it in an upper corner. You can place this on either side, left or right, or just simply make two versions. We'll make this element all white by selecting it and changing the color here. You'll have this black border around your block. Let's make it a little bigger by bumping it up in width. Now we'll simply place our logo inside the virtual TV. To do this, let's click up here on Images, then onto Library to locate your already formatted logo and select it. Click over here to lock its ratio, then size it up or down to fit in the middle of your screen. And there you go. Let's export this image and save it to your files. Now let's hop over into a Zoom meeting to upload our new virtual backgrounds. Once inside, click down here on the arrow and then onto Virtual Backgrounds, opening up this window. We'll click over here onto the plus icon to add our image or video. You can select your new backgrounds and upload them all at once. And we'll click out of this window and there you go. Now you've got a custom Zoom virtual background with your logo built in. How cool is that? And again, if you need assistance with adding your logo to a Zoom background, I'd be happy to do it for you. Feel free to follow the link below to my virtual background service on Fiverr. And while you're at it, go ahead and watch this video next to learn my top seven Zoom virtual background tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your online meetings. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zoos. Master video, do anything.